Hey, it's Ray the Video Guy here, and today I was thinking about something that has really changed in the world of video. Back in the old days when we shot anything, we had to take a wire, stick it into the camera, stick the other end into the computer, and capture all that footage in real time. Of course, nowadays we just use our smartphones and transmit the video wirelessly, or maybe we use a DSLR or a camcorder and we just pop the card out, stick it into our computer, and transfer that video in just a couple of minutes. So for me, it has been a long time since I actually had to capture video from a video source. In fact, when I finally had to, I realized I had no way to do it. It's been that long, I have no way to capture video from a source into my computer because I haven't had to do it. Well, the other day I did a video about the new device that I got sitting right back here, the A500 Mini, which is a replica of the Amiga 500, and I wanted to capture some footage of that machine. Well, I realized I had no way to do that. So I went online and of course had to find some sort of capture device that I can plug into my new Mac Studio, and I realized, wow, these things can be pretty expensive. $150, $200, $250 for some of them. I'm a cheapskate, I didn't like that very much. Well, it just so happened as I was looking for these, I found one at Walmart for only $20. As you can imagine, pretty skeptical about this when typically these things can be $150 or $200. Well, this is what I picked up because for $20, I really can't go wrong. Might as well give it a shot, right? So this right here is the Vivitar HDMI to USB video capture card. It is a thumb drive style capture card. You plug the HDMI in one end, you plug the USB in the other end, and it even comes with a USB-C cable, so you can actually run it in that way, which is great, because I use the new Mac Studio, which you can see behind me here, and uh, that uses a lot of USB-C, so that's really nice. Also has USB 2, but might as well use the C, right? Well, let's take a look at what comes inside this box. There's not a whole lot in there. Nice little package here. So it comes with the USB 2 to USB-C, right there, B to C. And then it comes with the actual capture card, which is just this, like I said, little thumb drive sized uh, little plug-in along with the HDMI on one end. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to plug the A500 into this, plug this into the Mac Studio and see if this $20 device does what it says it will. Now, one thing you need to know about this Vivitar video capture device this will accept up to 4K video. However, the output is 1080p. So if you got a 4K source, once it goes into your computer, it's only going to be 1080p. Now in my case, I don't need 4K for this. So this is perfectly fine. $20 to get 1080p is exactly what I need. So let's test it out and see how this $20 capture device actually works. Okay, so here we are with the recording going. We're using the Vivitar right now to capture from the A500 with HDMI. And you can see it uh, seems to work really, really well. I do notice that there is a very slight delay. Now I know from reading up about a lot of the capture cards, many of them have uh, a delay that could be up to a second or two, but this is very, very small. It um, doesn't have the full smooth animation as I scroll through here, but uh, I don't know if that will show on the recording. We'll have to take a look and see in a minute, but it looks pretty good. Very, very solid picture, very strong signal. Uh, looks great. So let's uh, try out a game here just to see how this works. And this game here, by the way, <laughs> we're going to see how well I do with this. With that slight delay that could hurt gameplay that you don't have when you're just uh, playing right on your um, monitor. So this is going to have that slight delay. So we'll see how that goes when we do this. We're going to make sure our options are set at easy because I am not very good at video games. And we're going to hit start game and see what happens here. All right, so far looking pretty good. I got to say for a $20 product, this is uh, pretty impressive. Does a great job. Uh, if you're noticing any slight fuzziness, that's actually a setting in the A500 to kind of smooth out some of the um, craziness with the old jaggies from old things here. So, so far pretty good. I'm not doing terrible <laughs> yet. 
Oh, we got a power up there. We get to grab that. There is that slight delay, which is kind of throwing me off a little bit. But considering I'm not dead yet and normally playing these types of games, I would be long since dead. That's pretty good. And it does have an auto fire feature here, so I'm going to just press on that there. You can see we can get different weapons as we move along. Let's see if we can switch weapons here. I don't know how to do it. Oh no! We died in the asteroid field. Oh my goodness. So we go back to Approaching our basic asteroid. weapon here. But overall, I gotta say, it looks pretty good. We can. Alright, well, we're gonna stop showing off my amazing skills here and it will pop into something else here just to take a quick look. You can see this does. It looks really, really good. Uh, maybe we can try a. Uh, more of a Mario style running game, although Zool not quite in the Mario category, but it was meant to be, it just wasn't as good. But we'll see how it goes when we try this out here. Again, I am not good at video games, even though I enjoy them, I am not very good at them, so we'll see how we do here. All right, now this game is a little bit crazy. You can see there is that very slight delay when I press anything. Now, this is this delay, by the way, is not. Um, does not happen in um, the actual oops when I play the game without running it through the um, the capture card I do not see that delay like we do here but again apparently that's pretty normal for uh, these types of things is to have that bit of a delay here and as you can see I'm terrible at this game though <laughs> but it seems to record quite well so we can't complain there we can certainly uh, you know Everything seems to be working perfectly fine. Again, I'm not very good at these. But there you go. That is the capture through the Vivitar HDMI to USB video capture card. $20 at Walmart. Okay, so what do I think of the Vivitar HDMI to USB video capture card? Well, I'm actually really, really impressed, especially for only $20. The recordings that I did were perfect. Everything worked smoothly, and we were able to do all the recordings that we needed to do without any issues whatsoever. This might actually be one of the best $20 items I have bought in a long, long time. So if you need to capture video, and remember, this one will capture 4K, but it will only output to 1080p. So as long as you're okay with 1080p, this is a tremendous product for only $20. Check it out. Again, I just picked this up right at Walmart, and you can too. So enjoy.